I had this idea when I did this custom um, lame robe with a long train, why not thug it out, as we would say, and do a customized matching shoe, like, and, like any uh, proper woman would do. I was really playing with gender fluidity, and I loved the idea that we were redesigning and reimagining something that was so eccentric with something that was so tough. Put on your hands with my eyes to see. Straight in the place to be. You know, when you thought about like what's the toughest shoe you can wear during that time in the streets, it was a butter Timberland. And I remember when I bought the shoe to a cobbler and I said, I need you to take these boots and I need you to take them apart and cover them in this lame fabric. And I remember the cobbler looking at me and saying, yeah, I can do it, and uh, but it's a lot of work. And it was one price for the first one. And as we came back with 10 and 12 pair, the price went up because he realized this was something that was gonna catch on and, and people were gonna want these. And we really opened a can of worms with that because Busta would not go on stage or do any live performance after that music video without the matching Timberlands to every customized look. Missy, she's a collector of sneakers, so at the time, to find something that was super retro, but edgy and new and fresh, because we were bringing it back, became somewhat of a classic. And it was that one scene where she's on the hill in this customized leather jogging suit that I designed for her. It was mint green, that we had the matching California Puma sneakers to go with it. And I remember, you know, after that video, people were like, ooh, retro, you know, Puma Californias. I like that. I'm going to bring those back too as well. And that's really how things worked in the, you know, in hip hop culture. We would literally feed off of each other. It was like it became sport to find like what was not being used, utilize it or reimagine it. And Missy was the perfect use for that. One of my favorite music videos to design taking this sportswear silhouette and mixing it with metallic leather, which was a luxury fabric. I wanted it to feel like it was out of this world. At the time when we did that music video, the classic, like the sock was a Nike Air. Every artist from every borough related to this particular sneaker. I had to balance my boat. So here we are taking, doing something that was so disruptive, so different at the time. Not only was it metallic, but it was red. And hip hop was somewhat like rock and roll. It was dark, it was edgy, it was very specific. And I knew at the time that that was something that was worth fighting for, but it, I had to meet them halfway. And that particular sneaker was the earth for them. There was a lot going on in that video. We were recreating the movie Casino. Character development was really my approach to everything because I approached it from a you know, costume designer's perspective. So I was able to really convince a lot of these hip hop artists and my muses, I would call them, um, as I developed these characters within these different scenarios, I would say there's nothing that you can't thug out. So if you're wearing a pink suit, you can definitely pull off a white shoe with no socks. And at the time, that was like super not the street thing to do. But when I approached it, when I gave them context of how you think about it, I think it changed the narrative and conversation. I think that street culture started to look at hip hop as not just one singular conversation, but it became a broader conversation. You start to see it more in a fashion space. They opened up the scene in these Python leather suits. And here it is, the kind of the shaft moment. And I remember pairing it with like, you know, Timberlands and sneakers to kind of really ground it and make it feel really relatable. But there was just something about the way DMX wore clothes. The way he made a tank top look like something that Rick Owens had designed now. It was all about the interpretation and the articulation. He was like no one else that I've ever met in my life. And I learned such a valuable lesson in meeting him in that moment. Never judge a book by its cover.